There you are. We back outside. Getting ready to go to a, a poetry jam over at the Cleveland Gallery. Y'all been here with me, been here with us, with me before. Um, when I went to that potluck on that one vlog. Uh, so yeah, I'm getting ready to meet up with Jazz. Yeah, baby. No. I'm not, I'm not joking. You gotta, <laughs> no, it's not. Yo, your dress is cute. I like that. Where'd you get that from? Butterfly, he loves boutique. It's boutique. Oh, that's cute. I would definitely wear that. That color is everything. Look at this dress. Color is everything. Y'all know I love that slime green. <laughs> Hold on, so. Right now, it's gonna be called off guard and I'll call his name, but um, I'm sure I get it up in my father, James Box. So. Yeah, she, her mom was a neighbor with her, but I got there right when she was born, and I was hoping she was a boy, but see what I got. I got eight daughters, that's the only reason I'm saying it, but you know, she know, you know, you know that story already, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I was hoping for a boy, but you came out. I mean, look at you today, you're a beautiful young lady, you're my beautiful little queen. I'm gonna be brief, cause I, wanna, I didn't come here to really speak. I come to listen. Now, many of you may not know me, but I'm a community activist here in the city. And I really just want to encourage my daughter to keep doing what she's doing. And I want to encourage you, young people, to keep doing what you're doing. I'm probably the oldest person in here. I don't know how old my brother is. How old? Are you? Sixty-three. Okay, well he got me about three years. I'm the youngest sixty-year-old you ever see. I still box. I still run five miles a day. I can do all that stuff. But what I but what but what, but what I want to say to you is this. You are the young prophets. You are the young street preachers. You are the generation of young people that's gonna turn this whole city around. Before I got here today, a 50 year old man was murdered up on 124th and Superior. Every day we averaging one to two murders in this city. And one of the reasons why this stuff is happening, because real black men and women won't stand up. Today y'all standing up in here. You speaking from your heart. You speaking truth to one another. And we gotta speak this truth to these young brothers and sisters in the street. We have to challenge the behavior that they have. When you see a young person that you know with a gun, challenge them. Why you got that gun? What do you need that gun for? When you hear young people talking about they want to go and fight or shoot or shoot somebody's house up, you got to challenge them. You got to make them think about what they're doing. Because when they send them down 71 South, they're going to get Buck Rogers time. 90% of them are going to do anywhere from 99 to 150 years in prison. And I'm not just saying that. That's real truth. Do the research yourself. We have some one to two murders a day. 54 people were shot last week. One died. We acting like we should call But the reason this happens is because we don't have an identity. We don't know who we are. We walk around purporting to be somebody that we're not. We claim that we heartless fellows. Only thing heartless is a demon. Today I woke up and I didn't feel pretty, but maybe tomorrow I will. Maybe tomorrow I won't feel like I need makeup just to make up for the fact that there's something I like and I can't even see it. When did my beauty not become my own? Why don't my beauty standards live in my own home? Why do I feel like I need society just to validate my beauty? Why can't I just shoot me? Why do I feel like I need to wait on a man to feed me compliments filled with empty promises? I'm trying to find the beauty in myself, but it seems like I always be searching. I just want to feel worth it. I'm tired of trying to be perfect. But today I woke up and I still didn't feel pretty. But maybe tomorrow I'll wake up and I won't feel like I need makeup just to make up for the fact that my low self-esteem has taken a toll and I still don't feel whole. But maybe tomorrow I'll wake up and I love my brown sugar skin. Maybe tomorrow I'll love my figure. Maybe tomorrow I'll wake up and I'll finally see the beautiful girl that lives inside of me. And when others tell me I'm beautiful, maybe tomorrow I'll finally see. Maybe tomorrow I'll realize that my beauty is deeper than my good looks. My beauty is in my walk. My beauty is in my talk. My beauty is in my love. My beauty is above all things that are superficial because I am more than what you see. My beauty is inside of me. So my beauty is my, beauty is my own and it does reside in my own home. So maybe tomorrow I'll wake up and I won't feel like I need makeup just to make up for the fact that I don't feel pretty because instead maybe tomorrow I'll feel beautiful. Yeah. We are getting ready to leave. Getting ready to leave the uh, poetry night. It was very nice. I had a good time. 
Yes, I, I was almost inspired to get up and say something. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I got a rice. Phone. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Jazz, jazz, tooting her own horn or whatever. Not to toot my, my own heart, horn, my but to myself. <laughs> oh, she had a great poem. Oh, thank had... you. Beautiful poem. Okay. My name is Mike. Hey, Mike. Beautiful poem. Thank you. Oh, okay, okay then. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta do me some poems. If, if that's how we pulling them. I, I, well, I'm, where's, where's that yet? Outfit. Let's see how you looking. Hi. Let me see your hair. Hi. hi. Yeah. Good job. You said hi to the vlog. <laughs> Y'all. I had to uh, let y'all see how her hair is looking because I, I think we're going to do a little vlogging later on before I drop her off. Like when I go pick her up from daycare. But y'all always be seeing, y'all be seeing them memes. It'd be like <laughs> how you dropped your kid off how you, versus how you picked them up. So I was like, let me see if her hair, because her hair, sometimes it be intact when I pick her up and sometimes it doesn't. But um, you know how ponytails be, and they going swimming today. It's their swim day, the toddlers. So we gonna see how her hair survives when I pick her up. <laughs> I got a surprise. I might get her toes painted um, today because I got to go get my feet done. So um, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all later. She's in the babies. Oh, she's in the babies. Okay. Hi, royalty. Hi. Mm -hmm. What's she doing? Yeah, these are. I seen them when I came in. Hi. Did you have a good day? Put your shoes on. No, no. Shoe on. Yeah, y'all. So her hair is not that bad. You did a good job, Pooh. Your hair. <laughs> of course, her edges are out, but yeah, we get ready to go in here and get a little pedicure right quick for myself and um these people close at seven so i don't know like i'm getting my pedicure first and if we have time then we can get baby royalty a pedicure um and that's just what's about to happen but i don't know what color i want i have white on my toes i, I got white the last two times i've been having just white but I'm kind of tired of white. Like, I want something different. But I don't want nothing too wild, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, let's get in here because they're getting ready to close at, um, they're getting ready to close. So, yeah. Ooh, say hi, mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> All right, let's get a boogie. Water. What's that? Ooh, what's that? That. Hmm? Water. Water, yeah. What's that, Ruti? Ooh, what's that? Hot. It's hot? What's that? That. What's that? Yeah. What's hot. in there? It's hot. Hot, hot what? Water, good job. Hmm. Hi. How are you? Hi. 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 Hi.
y'all so my pedicure is done i ended up getting the same color that i have on my nails because it's very close to um girl why'd you put that in the cart yay it's very close to um and this this is a plantain it's very close to the uh it's very close to white but i didn't really want white so i got that color and i um i actually like it and I want to say that I like this um, place that I got my nails done at, but every time I say that I like a place, I go back and then they don't do my stuff right. So, <laughs> so I ain't even go. I'm not even, I don't have nothing to say about it. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, you know what I want to try? Um, is any of y'all ever try getting acrylic on your toes? Like, I feel like the girls that get that on their toes are the ones that have like ugly feet not ugly feet but like the people that be having like um what is that like dark toenails or something because my toenails aren't dark i don't know <laughs> excuse me excuse me but yeah i'm at the grocery store royalty royalty is so loud i'm at the grocery store i feel like i'm always at the freaking grocery store uh-uh Use your inside voice. Yeah, I feel like I'm always at the freaking grocery store. It's like a never ending cycle. And then I don't really be eating the food. Like the food goes to the house and then it goes like in the fridge. Some of it gets eaten, the majority of it goes in the trash. So I need to start doing better because I be spending a lot of money at the grocery store. But um, this pedicure cost me like $70. And then like a 20% tip was like $14. So it was like 80 something dollars. And that's why I'm just wondering like if I wanted to try the acrylic, like how much would I be paying for um, to get the acrylic pedicure? But yeah, I just need to get something out of here for dinner tonight. And then we could really just head on out. I don't know what I want to get y'all. And partly, I don't know what I want to get because I'm talking to y'all. So let me um, concentrate. Let me concentrate on what I need to get from a body here, all right? Okay. All right, y'all. Okay, y'all, I think I got pretty much everything that I'm gonna get. I try not to get too much stuff, just stuff for like today. Why is this Powerade zero sugar? I guess I won't be getting any of these. But um, yeah, I just tried to get like some stuff for today. I can show y'all what I got, just a little stuff, nothing major. Some shrimp, garlic shrimp, some pasta. This right here is so good, this fresh tuna salad. It's really good, like, especially, you gotta try fresh tuna salad if you've been eating salad, out of, um, tuna out of the can, this is really good. Um, then I got this like baguette here, some kale greens, I got some of these pomegranate seeds for baby royalty, got watermelon, some lemon, parmesan cheese, um, some sea scallops, and um, just like some risotto, mushroom risotto, yeah, bananas because that's her favorite. Nana's okay. Look at her. She ready to go. Royalty, you ready? Yeah, you've been a good girl. She's been a good girl. She was a good girl at the um, nail at the nail place. But y'all, let me check out. I'm pretty sure I didn't spend like a oh, hundred dollars in here. But I'm about to check out. I'll come back. It, oh, it came up to 101.73. Okay. I knew it was like about a hundred dollars. But yeah, she did really good inside the nail salon. I took her because I wanted to like, yeah. The scallops go in with the frozen to keep it cold. Yeah, they can go in there. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I took her to the nail salon because I want her to start like getting acclimated with. She's been letting me paint her nails at the house, but I want her to um get comfortable with being at the nail salon. She didn't mess up my hair. She's so rough. But she did a good job. I think if I take her, I, she would have to, I would be taking her only to get her nails done. 
It's okay, I'm gonna throw it in this bag because okay. it's nasty and I wouldn't want to touch it if I was you. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah. You guys have a great night. Thank, Thank you, you, you too. See you later. I think I'm gonna have Bye. to let them put the groceries in my car because it's too many. But um, yeah, if I. Um, if I take when I take her, it's gonna have to be like a special trip to um it probably be something I could do for her on Sunday. Y'all know Sunday is her day, so I'll probably have to <laughs> do a special trip. Excuse me, why are you so loud? Man, royalty, royalty, royalty. Come on, come on, because we gotta go get the car. Um, but yeah, Heinen's you're not allowed to take the cart outside. I can't remember if Publix is like that, but here at Heinen's, um <laughs> You're not allowed to take the cart outside. They oh snap! I almost forgot to put a number on there. For some reason, I always grab seventy one. <laughs> That's our number. <clears throat> I always grab this number. But um, yeah. When I take her, I'm going to have to. Uh... <clears throat> Y'all know what I'm saying. I'm trying to do too much right now let her do her get her nails done by herself and get in and out because it took them about an hour to do my feet and she was kind of at towards the end she was getting real fidgety <laughs> especially because the water was no longer in that little um in the foot spot thing you're not getting down ma'am no look at her trying to get down no 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 where is he where are you going where are you trying to go hold on y'all yeah y'all so we didn't make it into the car but yeah it's like it's raining it's a little chilly outside it's the month of july i don't understand this this ohio weather like y'all know i've been in live i was living in georgia for like the last 15 years i don't understand this weather where are they at to put the groceries in my car because i'm just as tired and irritated as royalty is like i want to go home heat this food up eat and then like kind of relax rosie has been doing, learning her ABCs. Like, I bought her those ABC flashcards. She had some, like, one of those old vlogs I was doing it. Like, I think her 10-month update. But she was eating the cards. So, I was like, mm, she's probably not ready for this. So, I bought her some new cards from Target the other day. And she's still eating them a little bit. But I've been sitting down and just being real patient with her. And going over her um, alphabet with her. Because she knows her letters. But I'm trying to work on her recognition. So, she can start learning to read. And um, I guess I got to put my own damn groceries in the car. Because what the F is going on? I mean, I want to beat my horn. But... I'm already black and you know that's kind of ghetto. It's going I'm gonna look real ghetto if I do that. Isn't that crazy? Let me just toot it. <laughs> it's crazy. I, I was scrolling on YouTube and I seen this girl did a uh, um yeah, come on, because I was just getting ready to blow my horn. See? The Lord has hey, how you doing? The Lord has blessed me with a lot of um everything in the trunk. Yep, everything in the trunk is fine, thank you. The Lord has blessed me with a lot of patience the older I get because I was just about to do a tutu what the hell going on but um yeah I had seen a vlog it was like um she says she doesn't have pretty privilege like the privilege of being pretty you know how pretty girls kind of get away with things and I was looking at her I'm like she don't even look that bad like if she gets some veneers and then put a little makeup on and fix her hair like do her hair thank you have a good evening thank you and I was like, fix her hair, she'll look all right. I didn't even click on the vlog, cause I was, I think I was at work. <clears throat> we were in a meeting all day. But I didn't really click on the vlog, but I thought that was hilarious. I was like, what is she talking about? But anyway, y'all, I need to focus on getting home. So um, I'm gonna probably, you know what? I'm just gonna end the vlog right here because I do, like I said, I gotta spend some time with Royalty to help her learn her ABC so we can start learning how to read and all that jazz and get dinner done but yeah y'all thanks for kicking it with me um during the week make sure y'all like comment and subscribe can y'all do a better <laughs> can y'all do y'all can y'all take y'all time and like comment and subscribe i really appreciate it it really does help the vlog but um it help help me out and share the vlogs too let your friends and them know you know if you find it interesting or if you know somebody that likes to watch lifestyle vlogs definitely hey what are you doing I gotta go but um yeah make sure y'all like comment subscribe 
um it's been real y'all be easy until next time peace where'd you say bye 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 y'all